Hey there YouTube, welcome back for another episode of Mortal Realms Monday Magazine Review. Um, just before we get into this guys, obviously um, some of you may have noticed that I've been away for a few weeks, missed um, you know, a few weeks of episodes now. Um, long story short, my PC decided to have a breakdown. I ordered a new um, internal hard drive transferred all my videos and content for the channel over onto the larger hard drive and once it was complete the hard drive decided to become unreadable I lost about 30 hours worth of recorded content um, including um, issues 54 to I think it was 57 of the um, magazine reviews as well as the painting tutorials for 54 and 55 um, and I think 56 um, so what I'm having to do here is go back re-record these episodes now that I've got a new hard drive um, unfortunately because I'd already painted um, and obviously cut up the sprues and contents that came with these issues I'm unable to show the um, the contents that come with the issues um, and obviously there'll be no painting episodes so what I'm going to do is upload um, the next few issues um, where I don't have content for them just the issue um, review I'll upload all of them along with this video um, so you guys can catch up we can catch try and catch back up a little bit and then um, hopefully I think it's from issue 57 um, onwards we'll be able to get on with um, Back to normal with the content so uh yeah i haven't abandoned you guys um it was just uh obviously waiting for finances to sort out so that i could replace the uh the damaged hard drive again um and now obviously having to remake the content so with that being said let's get on with this issue issue 54 now this issue came with uh some more of the time worn ruins as you can see here obviously like i said um, I've gone ahead and already painted these guys up um, for the video and lost the footage because it was transferred so I can't show you uh, the the painting videos for that um, so apologies there guys um, all I did was basically the same as the last set of ruins that we got where I followed the instructions in the guide all I did differently was with this piece I did what I thought would get a closer look to this than what the the guide tells us um, it looked pretty much the same um, you know the finish wasn't much different to what we had before um, I just used a couple of slightly different methods of um, painting it up but anyway we'll have a look at this and get through these uh, these issues so we got the time-worn ruin we discover the sons of Payamat and we get to do battle in the ruins of Shaman. So we've got a little bit here for uh, destruction. And this is the sons of Bayamat. The sons of Bayamat have come. These gigantic gargants seek to smash the mortal realms asunder. So basically they've uh, brought back giants from fantasy. Um, I always love Giants. Now these were actually released I think later last year in 2020, uh, mid 2020, something like that I think. I may be wrong with all this Covid business, time seems to be going a, a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, I know that these were are fairly new. So uh, yeah, we've got some, some Giants in the realm. Gargant Stomps. Gargant tribes are known as Stomps and each follows a simple chain of command. The biggest and toughest Mega Gargant, Gargant is at the top and decides the culture and tactics his tribe follows. Other powerful Mega Gargants stand ready to take command while Man Crusher Gargants act as brutal foot soldiers for the clan. So we've got big guys and we get down to the smaller ones um, that are probably still pretty big compared to your average uh, man. Then we've got the uh, Hammers of Sigma, Vandus Hammerhand. Every Stormcast Eternal is a hero, but one stands above all others. He is Vandus Hammerhand, a champion without equal in the mortal realms. So 
So we've got obviously some background information on him. Uh, we've got he's a reforged lord, uh, blood rivals. So he's rivalry with the mighty Lord of Corn, Corgus Gull. And he goes on a hunt for Heldenhammer. Then a little bit more for the realms. We've got Dolorum. Long ago, Lady Olinda, the Mortark of Grief and commander of the Night Haunt, was a mere mortal. Her tale of terror began in the realm of Shaiish, in a long lost empire known as Dolorum. Now, this geist haunted place is one of Olinda's most feared strongholds. The Fall of Dolorum. So we got Lady Olinda ruled Dolorum with an iron fist in life, crushing rebellions before they could even begin. But the coming of the Age of Chaos spelled final doom of the city. Plagues and poxes sent by Nurgle swept through the population, causing vast suffering. Even after the city was destroyed, Olinda ruled its fall and ruin as she had in life. So yeah, we've got some uh, spooky guys. The Dolores Guard. <clears throat> then we've got uh, the Realm Gate Wars. So the War of Life. Nurgle, the Plague God, my favourite of the, uh, the Demon Gods, has always wanted to transform the Realm of Life into a place of rot and decay. In the War of Life, he came close to conquering Giran once and for all. During the Age of Chaos, the Realm was almost ruined. Only the rebirth of a god stopped Giran from being destroyed. Alright. Then we have the how to build these Sigmite ruins. And as you can see guys, they were super easy. Just clip them off the sprue. There's no assembly at all for these. So uh, yeah, just clip them off. Smooth down the sides and uh, you're ready to go. So obviously we've got the collection of the ruins there so we've got the last lot of ruins that we had here and then the first lot that we had with the uh the sigmarite statue obviously again they go through how to paint it um this is the same as the the last lot then we get some uh a war scroll on uh scenery so something a little bit new here we have obviously i don't think we've had a scenery war scroll yet um but yeah, so this war scroll contains the rules for using the time-worn ruins in your game. Though you can use the time-worn ruins without them, these rules will add a new dimension to the battlefield and help bring it to life. So obviously we just got a little bit, basically, scenery rules, um, things like moving over them and stuff like that. So it counts as deadly terrain and obviously tells us how to use the war scroll. And then we've got our... Uh, battle um, I can't remember what they call them but yep so we've got the battle that we'll play through so the Siguan has been shattered great fissures dot the realm each exposing new wonders and ancient horrors that were hidden beneath the earth for countless years so this is the uh, Siguan's secrets we've got a deadly bounty and into the necropolis so a couple of little background story bits there and then the uh, the battle itself, battle plan, that was what they called. So uh, the armies for this, uh, well, first of all, we've got the three mats. So map one, two, and three. And then we've got the armies. So for the Night Haunts, we've got the Knight of Shrouds on the Ethereal Steed. Two lots of ten Chain Rasps. Dreadblade Harrow. Guardian of Souls. And five Dread Scythe Harridans. And for the Stormcast Eternals, we've got the Hailstorm Battery that we got, uh, I think it was the issue before this one, uh, which is the Lord Ordinator, one unit of three Castigators and a Celestar Ballista. Then we've got the five Sequitors, the three Fast Riders and a Knight Incantor. Um, I can't see any objectives on this, um, you know, no, nothing to capture. Um, so the objective is... Oh no, okay. We are placing objectives, um, but we take it in turn, so we can place them anywhere. Um, alternating between players 
setting them up. And then in six inches along the long board edge is where you'll set up your armies. Right, so next issue, which will be uploaded alongside this one, is issue 55, the Lord Arcanum on Celestial Draco line. Um, unfortunately, guys, as I said, I did paint him up. I did have the footage, um, but it was lost when I transferred. Um, this is the finished guy here. Hopefully you guys can see him clear enough, get it to focus. This is the finished guy. The, uh, the footage was just painting the Draco line in these colors. Um, now, in a later issue, I think it's issue 59 or 60, something around there, we get two more guys on these, and I will obviously make a painting video for them, so you're not really gonna miss out anything on this. You will get to see how I did this one, just not on this one. Um, I'll be doing it in these colors exactly the same, and uh, you'll get to see that at that point anyway. So again, apologies for that. Um, you know, totally screwed me over with that hard drive, losing all the data. But it is what it is. So yeah, there's uh, issue 55. Issue 56, we get the Knight of Shrouds. Now I haven't painted him, but I have gone ahead and assembled him. Uh, he is there, he's ready to be painted. So um, obviously with this issue, you'll be getting issue 55. And then I will also do issue 56 with painting this guy so that you've got three issues today and a painting video and then next week we'll do issue 57 and work through as normal so not too bad but obviously we're just a, a little bit behind anyway that does bring us to the end of this episode um obviously once again sorry for uh being absent for a little bit um you know i couldn't really help that too much um, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Um, at the time of recording this, I've noticed quite a few of you have uh, still been subscribing, um, even though I've not put some new content up for the last couple of weeks. Um, so thank you ever so much for your support. And uh, if you are still subscribed, thank you for sticking with me. Um, it is very much appreciated. Um, you know, every bit of support that you guys give, um, whether it's hit liking the videos, subscribing or commenting on the videos just interacting with the channel uh, it's always appreciated so uh yeah if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button if you could please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video if not hit the dislike button but leave me a comment let me know what you didn't like about it and what i can improve on and uh until next time guys take it easy keep painting those minis <laughs>